It's happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ for his church. And this signs of the last day's ministry is here watching with you and praying with you as we get ready now for that appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Thank you for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days ministry community that's praying and giving to support this ministry. There's news where Israel is bracing for a huge attack from its enemies as they are preparing to launch an attack against Israel that can trigger a wide regional war in the Middle East. The U.S. has been working feverishly behind the scenes where the U.S. administration sent a very senior delegation of officials to the Mideast for talks to try and de-escalate the tensions. But the U.S. has also sent the largest U.S. military force in many years to the Middle East region in order to try and prevent a Middle East regional war. But try as hard as they may, they cannot stop what is coming, for it is prophesied to happen in the Holy Bible Scriptures, both by the prophet Joel in his third chapter and by the prophet Asaph in his 83rd Psalm. They both call out, southern Lebanon by the name of their towns of Tyre and Sidon, which today is the domain of Hezbollah, who is Israel's sworn enemy that swears they will destroy Israel. Where they prophesy according to the prophets Joel and Asaph that Israel and southern Lebanon of Hezbollah will have war and the last days of prophecy that will grow to affect the Middle East and then even the world. And security and intelligence analysts are reporting that a major war between Israel and Hezbollah, they say it is now considered inevitable and the only question is, is just what will be the timing. And both Israel and Hezbollah in southern Lebanon are preparing right now for that war that is prophesied to come. As Hezbollah has now massed more than 100,000 rockets along Israel's northern border. Where Hezbollah, with Iran's financial support and supplying weapons and training, Hezbollah now has entrenched not a terrorist group, but a veritable army of terrorists in their massive tunnel system underground in southern Lebanon. And you're watching a video now of Hezbollah's massive tunnel system that is filled with missiles along the northern border of Israel. This video was provided by Hezbollah and reveals that they have a massive and huge tunnel system in southern Lebanon in which they have, as you will see, large trucks with missiles and missile launchers that are ready to be fired at Israel. And where Hezbollah in this tunnel system also has a literal army of around 75,000 up to some say 90,000 trained terrorist soldiers. Hezbollah has been described as the largest non-nation state military in the region of the Middle East that Israel is confronting as a formidable enemy on its northern border with Lebanon, where Hezbollah has the capability with over 100,000 rockets along Israel's northern border to overwhelm Israel's Iron, Do Iron Dome defenses. And those missiles can also reach any part of Israel with the technology that Hezbollah has in their missiles now. And the near daily rocket and drone attacks from Hezbollah since October 7th over the Israeli border 
has caused the Israeli government to evacuate Israelis from Israel's northern border to where, according to some reports, over 90,000, getting close to 100,000 Israelis, have now been displaced and evacuated from Israel's north. And government officials are saying that they don't see any way for Israeli citizens to be able to return to their homes in the north without first there being a powerful war to push Hezbollah back from the border of Israel with Lebanon. And Israel is saying enough is enough to where there are a growing number of current and former Israeli security officials, as well as Israeli politicians from the center, the right, and the far right, who say that the time is now for Israel to go to war with Hezbollah. So to push Hezbollah back north up into Lebanon so that Israel's northern border and citizens can be secured from Hezbollah's missile terror threat. Also, the leadership of Israel's northern military command responsible for defending the border with Lebanon is pushing for a more aggressive approach against Hezbollah than Israel has taken so far. So they say that they can stop just falling back and defending but have an Israeli attack on Hezbollah that will lead to a new reality for Israel on the northern border. And intelligence officials in Israel are saying that a meaningful diplomatic deal with Hezbollah at this point is very unlikely. And that launching a swift and strong military campaign while having U.S. military support who right now has two U.S. aircraft carrier strike groups sitting offshore from Israel and Lebanon. The Israeli security and intelligence establishment think that now is when Israel could attack Hezbollah and cripple them in a short time. But such a nice, clean plan with such positive outcomes is seldom the way it goes in war because a formidable enemy also gets to have a say in what happens also, where things can have unexpected, unexpected twists and turns, and the war can also spread. And that is what is prophesied to happen. For Hezbollah of Lebanon has other Arab tribal brothers that also surround Israel, and the prophecies foretell that the retaliations between Israel with Hamas of Gaza which is biblical Philistia, and with Hezbollah of Tyre and Sidon in southern Lebanon, that it will someday, some way, soon trigger an all-out war between Israel with all her Arab enemies that surround her. And as prophesied, Gaza and Tyre and Sidon are leading the way right now toward that happening as Hezbollah has amassed 100,000 rockets on Israel's border to attack her with in a prophetic war that they both are now preparing for. And these events and conditions that are happening now are warning signs pointing to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age revealing that it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Lord Jesus Christ for his church by being born again into the kingdom of God, as Lord Jesus said we must in John chapter 3, verses 3 through 5, and as his apostles authorized and sanctioned by the Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 16, verses 18 through 19, described how in the acts of their preaching, in the acts of the apostles, Acts chapters 2, 8, 10, and 19. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles actually in their Holy Bible Scriptures, you can contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org. 
And down at the very bottom in the footer and smaller print, you will find our email address. Please just email us with the name of your town, your state, and also with your zip code. That's very helpful. Email that information to us with your request and we'll be glad to respond and help you just like we have so, so many others as well. The prophecy has come true. The perilous times are here and the need is greater than ever before to declare the signs of the nearing coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. And here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry, we are in a campaign for Christ Jesus. So to bring the appearance of Christ for his church, as we declare the signs of the true path forward in the world to the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord according to the Holy Scriptures. Please join together with us in this mission for Christ Jesus by giving your donation in the amount that the Lord leads you on our website, signsofthelastdays.org, on the giving page. Become a part of this ministry to help ensure that the signs of biblical prophecy are shared here on this prophetic ministry channel with the world according to the way that Lord Jesus and his apostles declared it in their holy scriptures. We thank you so much for being a part of this prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of Christ Jesus the Lord. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast. Our Watch and Pray live stream is on Sunday evenings. Please join us where we have a prophetic word from the Lord then to share with our last day's church of more signs of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. And please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel and click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos as we are sharing amazing prophetic signs of the end time prophecies happening now in the world showing that the end of this age is drawing near. Some